If you guys need a cheap, safe, and reliable coin service and it's needed during Team of the Season, use Dirty at checkout. 15% off FIFACoinZone.com. Links are in the description. Enjoy. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the Top 5 BPL Team of the Season players. We got a countdown for you, FIFA Ultimate Team. I apologize for not having the face cam. I've been moving back and forth a lot trying to make this transition into a new apartment if you've been following me on snapchat dirty mike usa you might know some of the insider scoop but if you do enjoy the content you want to see more top fives as the team of the seasons unfold please drop a like share it around a little bit let me know your opinion down below in the comments i know players can be heavily debatable and i'm gonna have an interesting countdown let's get it rolling Booming and zooming into the honorable mentions, and we have one underperformer and then two players that I feel like did a little bit beyond expectations for me and what I anticipated. Diego Costa is a 93 overall, and the strength and everything that he has and he possesses, he should be better. Uh, you can see that he has a lot more pace, you notice it in match, but his agility really lets him down, his turns are still kinda slow, similar to his normal card, AZP, ooh, I welcome him into any squad, also very affordable, great value pickup from the team of the season players, and Fabregas, who I didn't necessarily think would be excellent. Uh, his stats, they don't jump off the page in terms of what you need in FIFA, he's not super physical he's not extra pacey he's got a great shot he can facilitate but he doesn't have the skills but i was pleasantly surprised scored a lot of different goals good positioning and he was able to make an impactful performance in nearly every single match ah right, number five we've got hazard the highest rated bpl team of the season and he's pretty much extinct. I've been fortunate enough to have a couple friends who packed him, so I was able to use and abuse. And for a 95 overall, he should be better. There were players that I felt influenced matches with a higher consistency uh, other than Hazard, and that's why I have him at number five. We can go over all his stats. They are impeccable. They are amazing. Everything is over a 90. Pace, dribbling, shooting, passing. However, it just doesn't come together as you might think it would i still think he's a great player before 95 or a million coins i i just think there's better choices Matic, 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 and he actually topped the charts in the previous top five video that i've made i encourage you guys to watch that and he deserves to be in the top five even including all these bpl players the defense the presence six foot four he breaks up play better than nearly any center mid or cdm that i've used this year not as quick as you might like but he's a bulldozer and he's not to be taken lightly and that deep shot whoo that 75 shooting feels more like an 85 trust me when you get a chance he will score goals and he's also very affordable at this point in fifa because he's been out a little bit longer than some of the other bpl players at the magical midway point, we've got Belasi, and if you're able to snipe this guy off the market, whether it's the PlayStation or the Xbox, it might be one of the best decisions you've ever made in FIFA. 5-star skiller, 4-star weak foot, 93 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 physical. Where do you find players that have 94 agility to go with 90 strength? And I felt like his normal card lacked some finishing, but no, not his team of season card. I would not... Be mad at anyone if you had Velocity as your number one best team of the season player because he kills it. And being six foot tall is a game changer with that type of strength, the ability to a pass, and then the creativity. His scoop turns, I swear, go farther in front than the shorter guys. And, and some of his body feints just roast and toast the opponent. I've never seen people look so bad. At the runner-up position, we've got Sanchez, and I just can't get enough of this player. In real life, he's been impeccable. He's been stellar. He's been a prime-time performer, and in FIFA, whether it's his informs, his man of the match, and now the best card we've seen thus far, the team of the season, and it's his deep shooting that makes the big difference. He's always been fast, always had a lovely first touch, and he could dribble. He could scoot around the opposition, but now... Anytime you shoot from outside the box, power, finesse, it does not matter. It will be on frame and the keeper can't do anything about it. He offers you full variety and full creativity. Anything you want to execute, it's possible with Sanchez and I appreciate you. Topping the charts and if you've been watching my content for a while, then this could not be a surprise. 
Aguero is the best position striker in FIFA 15 and now you've got a 94 overall with pace, the finishing, the shooting, the dribbling, the ability to facilitate. He's not going to be super physical, but the way that he gets in behind with some of his traits and then having just that perfect attacking mindset. He's always in the right place and your goal scoring record cannot be anything but golden if you've got Aguero in your squad. Another guy you're going to have to snipe off the market, but once you do, happy days. If you enjoyed the content, drop a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA and I have a lot more coming your way ASAP, ASAP.